Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, Belizean bad boy, internationally renowned linen shirt Dave. Some call me uh, the Belizean burnt boy after today's snorkeling fiasco. Let me tell you something, I've got a burn on my back. It is not good. Uh, I was worried about shark bites. I should have been worrying about uh, the sun. I know, put the mallow on and do this. Trust me, I'm going to be, you know, flying out tomorrow, reaching for the little air thing and just, oh, ah, you know what I mean? Anyway, folks, here we go. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It is my last day on vacation. You're watching this on Tuesday, which means I'm flying. So uh, that's my fly day. I'm not going to be able to record too much. I'm going to try my best to get the mentel all out. You'll know, you'll know if I got the recap up. But in the meantime, I'm recording this Monday afternoon. So today they just broke this story. Uh, I say story very lightly uh, that we've got uh, Michelle Young's potential Bachelorette contestants revealed. Meet the season 18 suitors. Why did Bachelor producers feel the need to dump the 35 men when it's only going to be 25? I have no idea. Why isn't Bao on this list? I have no idea. I have no idea if maybe this is how they do their dirty work. They want to see if any, uh, you know, scandals come out, any Me Too's, any, you know, uh, delinquent tweets or rogue Facebook messages, maybe a comment thread, you know, who knows? Who knows what the next technology will be? You know, someone's gonna be like, well, I saw you kick a kid with your ring light, you know, your ring, you know, a security can. I don't know. Point is, uh, this is only potential, so they'll have chances to, uh, you know, like, because this guy on the left, right here, right? He could be a hard, he could be like a big softy, cries watching Nicholas Sparks movies, but, you know, he looks like, uh, you know, the villain in some sort of, um, you know, skateboarding movie, doesn't he? You know what I mean? He looks like that guy from uh, Norway who, like, is the good snowboarder, and everyone's like, yeah, these are our slopes, and he's like, my dad's got a billion dollars, and I'm going to buy the mountain, and then they rally against him. I don't know what's going on in my head. All right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, and by the way, he's got some nice Connor Brennan energy right here. That's a good Connor Brennan energy. Drop another button and enjoy us in paradise. All right, so Michelle Young lives in Minnesota. Will she stay there as a teacher, or will she take fame and fortune and move to New York San Diego or Los Angeles. Those seem to be the three hot spots as of late. Uh, we'll have to see how it all plays out, but let's just scroll. So here are the men. I'm just going to read through the men because you know what? I don't know how long my computer's going to uh, keep a charge because I don't have a battery attached. By the way, if you haven't checked out this place, I mean, I am in beautiful. Let's just one last chance here. Let me move out of the way here. One last chance to see that background. Isn't that nice? See, when I show the beautiful backdrop. I look like, uh, you know, uh, you know, an assault victim on a Dateline, uh, you know, special. My, uh, my name is a Belizean bad boy. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I got to boost up the audio right here, doing all sorts of work. You know what I mean? I'm used to pushing all these buttons now. I'm adjusting aperture and things like that. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, my neighbors will be very happy that I'm leaving. They're like, this guy wakes up at 5:30 in the morning and just rants about other men. It's like. Join me on the second floor lounge, folks. All right, first one, alphabetical order, is Alec. First off, an, an Alec, not an Alex. Let's see if he's one of those guys that corrects people. Excuse me, it's Alec with a C. It's you Russian, you know. So he's uh, got nice arms, good hair, good uh, good little... Uh, he's got a good look. He's got a good look there. Uh, we don't really know what Michelle Young's type is. Uh, there'll be a bunch of different guys here. So his hometown is Virginia. Virginia, not the farthest away from, you know, they always say hometown, but it's like most of these contestants live in major cities. That's just where they find these folks. We have uh, Brandon J. He's looking like, uh, you know, The Rock's, uh, you know, uh, stunt double here, right? He's like, he's got the, uh, he's ready to, com you know, uh, commit an exorcism or whatever. You know, that's a, that's a big cross. Like, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I condemn you. He starts throwing holy water on Michelle. She's like, are we going to go to the fantasy suite or not? He's like, not in my book. That's Brandon. He's 26. That's kind of young. Spring chicken, as we called them, from Portland, Oregon, which uh, Oregon and Minnesota, not that close. All right, here we go. This is the type of guy with a photo that can probably be cleaned up. Brandon K. Why do we have multiple Brandons? You know, we got Brandon J, Brandon K, JK. There it is, folks. So he's looking good. Um, you know, what we're going to notice here, guys, is with the Bachelorette, uh, we get a bunch of uh, bachelorette suitors, which means a bunch of men that have never been told how to pose for a photo. I get it. Every single guy has no idea what to do with his arms. We talk about this every year. We got three options. You stick them all in your pockets. Let's go back to the main page here. 
This is why I never get through these things. You stick them all in your pockets. Do we need to stand up for this? Right? Let's widen it up here. Okay, here, here are the options, guys. You're welcome. Still got to go tell. You stick them. <laughs> I have shorts on. You stick them in your pockets. That's option number one. This is option number two. And then this is option number three. And then number four is you just lean on something. Those are your options. That's all you know how to do as a guy. No one teaches us otherwise. And still, I have no idea what else to do. That required too much energy for the bit. All right, so let's move. Oh, so here we go with option number one. Brett, age 29. You know, he uh, he's uh, queued up the... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm in t uh, I was scrolling there. This is Brett. He's got option number one here. As you can see, he's got his... Actually, a very similar kind of tight shirt there. Very snug fit, if you will. So uh, he's uh, Houston, Texas. All right. And again, nice, well-shaven neck. He's got a nice beard uh, ratio right here. He's, you know, a lot of guys, they like to go with a little stubble on the neck just to show. But he went full straight razor on the neck. So he looks like a floating head. He looks like you could put him in the Macy's, you know, Thanksgiving Day Parade. Just a very clean cutoff between the beard and then the neck. I don't mind it. Very smooth neck. Although it can lead to a lot of ingrown hairs, folks. I'm telling you, it ain't easy being a guy. I know, lady, you shave your pubis, you get ingrown hairs, you got to deal with them. I get it. It ain't easy being a lady either. Let the bush fly in that case. Do what you got to do, ladies, right? We don't care. It's 2021. Live a little. Brian. So here's Brian. Brian's throwing us a curveball here. With his left hand, he's got his left He's got his left in one pocket, and his right, he's, do, he's doing the British tea time here. You know what I mean? Where he's like, okay, he's got a little, he's got a little uh, th th uh, pinky out to play, which might come in handy come fantasy suites. Always know how to use the pinkies. Brian is 30 from Holton, Wisconsin. Uh, actually, pretty decent hair. You know, they always get glammed up. They get better photos, but pretty decent hair. He's, oh, we lost it there. I don't know why it went black. You start talking about a guy's hair in the... Whole YouTube shuts down here. So, um, can you guys see that? No, it's not just me, right? Why the heck did it go black? Boy, I tell you what, you know, these travel days, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's hard enough to make content. And then I got all these issues, the things go, and I lose my mind. You guys know how it goes. I'm so, you know, every other video I've made, I've had to re edit because, look, what is this? Life2go.com? What kind of pop up is this? Immunity? Echinacea? Get out of here. Echinacea. No, no one buy life to go if they're going to ruin our segment. Get a pop-up blocker. I do. They, they're smarter than me, okay? All right, we're into it. We're only on B. Golly. All right, we got Casey here. He actually looks like Chris Randone, doesn't he? He's got a good look. He's going straight for that kind of country western. You know, he's got his hands ready to draw, just kind of like Yosemite Sam style. Thumbs in the pockets. Looking pretty good, though. Nice broad shoulders. What else can you say there? Most of these guys, I mean, they A plus on the hair. You know, someone posted this yesterday. Where, where's the bald representation? Not on The Bachelor. Because let me tell you something. And la ladies, agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section. Ladies don't like short guys, and they don't like bald guys. I'm telling you, you got to fly a rocket to space to get respect as a bald guy. Looking at you, Jeff Bezos. You know what I'm saying? Prove me wrong. Just prove me wrong. You know, but everyone they cast is a six foot three guy with a full head of hair. Chris S. right there. Nice tall guy leaning against a light pole in Nolens, Louisiana. The Big Easy. We'll have to see if that holds true. Christopher G. CG. I think he's going to be a good match. Nice wholesome guy. This is a nice Midwestern guy right here. Right? Halif oh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. I take that back. Halifax, listen. We're not trying to, you know, take a fishing vessel to see your family. You know what I mean? Hometowns make a make a right three life tower, three lighthouses to the. All right, all right. Prove me wrong, Nova, Nova Scotia. You know what I mean? Prove me wrong. You got that weird uh, Irish accent. If there's any Nova Scotia fans, I truly do apologize for my ignorance here. Uh, how many pre how many cities in Nova Scotia can you name? I can only name three. Dave can only name three cities in Nova Scotia. He must hate Canadians. Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's a Katie Thurston joke. Clayton, 28. Eureka, Missouri. Let's see if he can uh, make like a Eureka vacuum and suck uh, his way into the finals. Clayton, 28. Very strong. Very strong there. Thumbs 
are cocked and lo locked and loaded, I should say. Something else is cocked and loaded. Hey, folks, it's called uh, No Nut November. Let's see. Let's see. They'll be filming this in November, right? Or I guess they'll be filming it before November. Let's see if they can. Uh, uh, well, anyway, we don't. It doesn't matter what uh, sorts of uh, activities they partake in in the shower. Daniel, 26, very young, Austin, Texas. Good looking guy, though. Real good looking guy. Pretty eyes. Nice wide shoulders. All right, looking at you, Daniel. I mean, Daniel, pretty young, though. You know what I mean? Uh, she's a teacher. She already has enough kids in class. I don't know if she needs a 29, a 26-year-old. But uh, he looks a little mature for his age. Edward looks like he writes romance novels. Uh, he's got that Mike. He's got the Michael, uh, uh, what's the guy, Michael, uh, what's it, Yanetta? What's that guy's name? The Virgin? She, he's got the same cult shirt on as the Virgin. He looks like he's about to be, you know, become an ordained minister and play saxophone at the reception. Who thinks of these things? I haven't seen these images before. We're riffing. That's Edward. He's 27. Uh, Team Edward? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Um, Brownsville, Texas. Brownsville. Huntsville. Looking at you, Karen. Where's my Huntsville at? And here we go. Nice uh, leaning on the pole there. Eric, 25. Very young. Bridgewater, New Jersey. What's that saying? Uh, Jersey girls aren't trash. Trash gets picked up. I didn't make it. Just other people say it. I love Jersey girls. Jersey girls have a good sense of humor. They get that joke. We love a good Jersey girl. Garden State, plant a flower. Garrett, 33, the standard Garrett. Looks pretty good, though. Looks nice, strong guy. He's got a, you know, nice smile. Garrett, Salt Lake City. Okay, well, I mean, you're going to have to wonder. Salt Lake City, high, high, very densely populated Mormon population. Will, uh, will religion pet play a factor? These are the questions we ask. Um, all right, okay. We're, we got like a Jack, 30, from Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, he, he might be a sleeper, you know. Uh, on first look, he looks like, a, you know, he'd be in a couple's ice skating competition. Doesn't he just look like the guy that just spins the chick in the air? I hope she has, whoever that girl, whoever the flyer is in couples, couples uh, ice skating, better have good insurance because the guy just pelts you right into the sky. Oh, right. Ooh, this guy's got style. Jamie, age 32, Tacoma, Washington. Nice style, 32. That's a good age, folks. 32 is a good age. He's on the radar. Uh, this is a, let's see here. What do we have here? Joe, age 28, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hometown discount. I don't know. One of the perks of marrying someone is trying to find somebody outside of the town you're from. That way you can diversify your vacations a little bit. You know, what, do you want to go see my parents uh, across the lake or you want to go see your parents on the other? It's like, okay, no offense to Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Listen, I love Minnesota. My sister was born there. I fell for a girl from Minnesota. We all have. But come on, I'm going to make fun of Minnesota. It gets cold in the winter. It's hot and humid right now. Let me make fun of you guys for a minute, okay? Twin Cities, all right? Joel, 31, Prescott, Arizona. He's got Republican face, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Nice arms. He's got, he's got Second Amendment arms. Those are, that's a gun show, folks. All right. Uh, Got to love Joel, 31. Oh, Jamari. We don't have a photo yet because this is internet, internet. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to blame Belize for the internet. It's been fantastic. But if this is going to slow me down, I'm going to be in big trouble here because I got a lot of names to get through. From Portland, Oregon, I don't have his face. Can we, can I get, oh my gosh, can I get some help here, folks? I just thought we'd scroll through some photos and be able to see them. Can a guy get Jamari's face? Jamari, just on name alone, he sounds like one of those guys that's just going to be, no, you know, there's no Jamari S's or Jamari P's. There's Jamari. There he is. Jamari needs no last name. Looking very nice, strong there. His his veins look like uh, the Mississippi Delta. Is that even a term? I don't know. But um, if if you're the type who likes to get, uh, you know, have a little rough play, those arms will do it for you. Right there, folks. Very nice. Doesn't skip arm day, unlike your boy over here. I've, I haven't been skipping happy hour this whole trip. All right, here we go. Nice sports jacket. Is that a sports jacket or a... What would you call it? A sports coat? Leroy, 27, Durham, North Carolina. So we have a couple of North Carolina folks there. And then we have LT, 38. This might be one of the elder contestants on the show. Let me tell you something. I want to personally thank you guys for sticking with me throughout my vacation. Because some days, like this moment right now, is very challenging to make this content. Because my internet is 
S-ing the B right now. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's not doing well. LT, we don't even have a photo for you. So what are we going to do? We're just going to, there it goes, folks. So here, clearly I'm stalling as we wait for a photo. LT, solid calf muscle. Look at that calf muscle. What are you doing over there, LT? Nothing but jumping jacks all the way to Michelle's heart. Nice white teeth, very strong. He might become a fan favorite here. Not because he's strong, but, you know, maybe because he's strong. Bellevue, Washington, 38, you know, that's a good age. I'm telling you, in today's world, people are getting married later and later. 38 is a good age to, uh, you know, see what's next. You know, you know, how you spend your first 10 years out of college, you're working out, you're kind of bumping Harrisons, and then all of a sudden, the world passes you by, all of your friends have... Uh, you know, babies, and you're the weird uncle that no one invites over because you're trying to find a bridesmaid. You know, that's how, it, you know, you become one of the last Mohegans. Speaking of um, uh, interesting, you know, he looks like a calendar, like a, like a, was a Playgirl model right there. He's like, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, I'm a lumberjack. And then all of a sudden he just rips his shirt off and we're like, you are more than that, sir. So very nicely sculpted arms, nice eyes. As we said before, he looks like the the villain in a, you know, a, the Mighty Ducks remake. You know, I don't know. Martin, 28, from Argentina. Okay. So he's from Argentina. Uh, and let's see. that That's a good pick. This is a good, this is a good, like, outsider pick for her. It's like, keep around. I feel like there'll be a lot of her, you know, placing hands on him, just trying to feel him out to be like, ooh, you're a, you're a, uh, you're a, you're a strong uh, Argentinian man right there. Um, all right. So. Are we even so we don't even know if these guys are gonna be in the final. Next up is Michael again, leaning on the stoop, whatever you want to call that, leaning on the ledge. Very nice. Nice haircut. Kinda he's got a good youthful energy. He's only he's 30. What I like about Michael is he's got the strength, but he doesn't look like he's like on testosterone, which no offense to the guys on testosterone. He just looks like he's just a, a strong he's got like farm boy strength, which Michelle might be into. You know, she might not want that Argentinian tango, if you will. But he's in town from Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. A corn husker, if you will. I believe that's a term. Uh, I love reading these things off the fly because I can just make wild assumptions based on people. Next up is Molik. All right, folks, I had to move. I'm by the hammock. Yeah, I had to go grab some power. My computer crashed. This is literally my third time getting through this. Maybe my fourth. Okay, please, the, the uh, please, uh, technology, help me out here. Malik, 36. Okay, looks good. He's got the cross and he's got the M there for Malik. The ni nice, the two important people in life there, the self, the spirit. Okay, moving along. Malik's in Jamaica, coming from Jamaica. Uh, Nate, 27, looking pretty good there. Double hands in the pockets. Winnipeg, Manitoba. A nice Canadian right there. Very nice. Manitoba. That's Canadian, right? Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Isn't that a camper? All right, here we go. There, look at these arms. This is a strong man. And, oh, the icon, the gaze. The gaze is the strongest part about him. I mean, he's just looking into my soul, and I kind of like it. All right, let's see what we have down here, scrolling down. Olumide, 28, Olumide from Woodland Park, New Jersey. Couple Jersey natives showing up. Pardeep from Brooklyn, New York. Yo, Brooklyn in the house, Pardeep. Listen, I'm, and I'm not going to criticize people based on the photo they use because who knows who found these photos. But like, bro, you know what I mean? It's like we can't even, you know what I mean? This is a photo of the surf with you in it. We want a photo of you, bro. Show off your eyes. Let's see him pop. You know what I mean? This guy, see, this is a photo. Peter, right? He's looking into your soul. He's got the chain. He's ready to go. 26, too young. Okay, you're too young. Uh, PJ, 30, Austin, Texas. PJ's got the right age. Looking good. That's a cool shirt. He's got the nice fitted sleeves. The uh, three buttons there. Looking pretty good. PJ from Austin, Texas. Um, all right, here we go. He's got one of those kind of like big clavicle crew neck shirts that kind of just, you know, looks like your cousin ripped your neck off. You know, Rick, 32, Monroe Falls, Ohio, Midwest. Uh, Rodney from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Rodney there. Um, hard to see much out of that photo. I don't like the chin up look. I get it. That's what we do as men. We smile with our chin up and we uh, try to chug a beer in every photo. Like that. It's, 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 it's part of trying to, it's a pecking order thing. We're trying to look strong. I get it. It just doesn't look good in photos. Alrighty then. Here we are with an Apple Watch Romeo. Oh, that's a name. 
Oh, I'm sure he's going to have a nice Rome. Oh boy. But you don't want to be Romeo necessarily on this show. It's like, Hey, will you be my Juliet? It's like, are we going to kill ourselves in three days? Isn't that how the movie worked or whatever? <laughs> Romeo Shakespeare in love. All right. New York, New York, New York. This guy's got a nice hairline. Uh, there's a, wow, boy, how does he fit into those jeans? Somebody does leg day from Sanger, California. It's Ryan at 30. Looking nice, though. He's a good looking guy. I mean, he looks like his clothes shrunk in the wash. Did Matt James give you his pants? What's going on here? All right. I won't judge. He could probably, you know, suffocate me with his inner thigh muscles. Some people pay extra for that, though, folks. All right. This guy uh, was doing the Connor right from our from the, the beginning. He's got the uh, lack of buttons, which I'm all about. Show off the chest. Spencer, 25. Cleveland, Ohio. Can we normalize men showing off their chest more? Like, I don't have much to work with here, but can we just normalize like a little extra clavicle chest plate? You know what I mean? Can we do that, folks? Look at me. Look at this view, right? I think we can get rid of this now. Let's just look at the view. Live in life. Big Belizean energy right here. You didn't come for that, though. Let's move it along. Um, boy, I'm just really having a hard time getting through this. I don't know if it's just the fact that it's my last night here or the technology. Again, it's not the place I'm staying. It's not the Wi-Fi. My computer's literally melting. Maybe it's the humidity. All right, Trevor. What are you at? The riots? What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Are you, vo are you voting? A, are you passing a bill? What are you doing? From Rockland, California, 26. Too young. You're good looking. They chose, they chose you for future seasons. They're like, all right, we like you. We'll put you in the pipeline, but not for Michelle. Maybe, maybe she likes a young gun. Who knows? All right, um, we got an interesting haircut here happening. Not judging it, just interesting. Uh, Will, 29, from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Very nice from the DR. I like that. Is, this, is that everybody? Oh, my gosh, we got through them all. Now, listen, I'm not trying to put too much weight into what we have going on so far here because the truth is, it's like you guys want me to, the truth is, is that we don't know you know, if even if these guys are going to make it on, you know what I mean? We don't know if these guys are going to make it on. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, is my green screen, look at that, my green screen. What's going on behind me? It looks like the aliens are coming. What is, oh, you know what? It's so green here that my green screen's getting picked up from my studio. How funny is that? That's how nice it is. Go t t take a look at this, folks. Let me let me turn the the lights around there so you guys can see it. Oh, uh, you know what? This is it's all garbage. You don't need to see this. I'll be sharing a bunch of photos and Instagrams and stuff like that. So if anyone wants to go follow me, I'm trying to pull up my my um buttons right now. I do apologize. Oh, my whole life is just apologizing at this point. I'm trying my best. If you guys can hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and give me a follow on uh, Instagram. Sorry, there it is. Is this it? There it is. Bachelor Nation News at D. Niels. I'm going to have some other content coming up tomorrow, the day you're watching this Tuesday is my travel day. So it's going to be a little hard to get content up. So just do me a favor. Go watch something else. Join the Patreon if you want to support. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I got ridiculously burned when we went snorkeling. I put some block on. I tried, folks. It's, it, oh my, it's just my back, folks. We were swimming with sharks. It was a ton of fun. I need to go take an ice bath or something. But anyway, thank you guys all so much for all the love you've been giving us during our vacation and all the support. We really appreciate all of you guys. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know who in this group you think would be a good fit for Michelle. Again, it's going to get whittled down some more. So this is just first looks, but we'll take it from here. Bye, everybody.